Hello everyone. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to install SQL Server 2017 Developer Edition. So let's get started. The first thing I'll do is I will search for SQL Server 2017 Developer Edition in Google. Let me copy this. Open your favorite browser and paste it. Now I'm searching for SQL Server 2017 Developer Edition Download. So you can see here the first website that I got it is microsoft.com SQL Server Downloads. It's official Microsoft website. Let me click on this. Now, if once the link opens, you can notice here that free trial edition and developer edition. So now you can see here SQL Server 2017 Developer is full featured free edition licensed for use of development and test database in a non production environment. So this is free, but you cannot use it for production purpose. So in a non-production environment, you can use it. So I'll show you how to install this. Let me click on download. And first it'll download a small file. Let me go to the folder. And you can see here, this is a small installer. Right click on this, run as administrator. And if it asks for, do you want to change, make changes for the computer, click yes. And in less than 30 seconds, it'll open a small pop-up box like this. And you can see basic, custom, and download media. So basic should be more than enough for learning SQL or for practicing uh, different sections of the SQL programming. So I'll select basic. And now you just need to click on basic. Click on accept and click on install. Now first it'll download the packages. So it'll, it's, it'll take around um, one minute to two minutes. And depending on the internet speed, it'll take, it'll take a while. It's downloading the package. The first step is it'll download the package. So acquiring files is almost done. So it depends on the internet speed. Uh, it might take up to five to 10 minutes. You can see here it's showing download successful and then it'll start installation. So it's installing the package. Installation is almost done. So after this installation is done, you need to install one more thing. That's called SQL Server Management Studio, right? So let's see, once it is done, let's see how the process will be. I'll show you. Okay, you can see here, so developer edition is, uh, installation has completed successfully. Now you need to install one more software called SSMS. So you can see here, it's showing SSMS, install SSMS. So when you click on this, it will take you to a web page from where you need to download it. So once you click on this, it'll take you to the download page where you need to download and install it. In case if by mistake, if you closed it, and if you want to go there, you can also go there. So all you have to do is you need to search for SQL Server Management Studio Download. Okay, so SSMS stands for SQL Server Management Studio. So now either I can search for this and I can download it or I can click on this install SSMS. Let's see where it'll take us now when I search for this. Let me search for this and it, it's taking me to this page, Download SQL Server Management Studio Microsoft Docs. And let me click on this. And it came to this page, Download SQL Server Management Studio. Right, so here you will see these two things. The same thing will happen even if you click on this install. See here now, I'm clicking on this. Now when I click on this button, it will open, it'll ask me which browser. Okay, let me open an Edge browser. It'll take me to the, th it'll take me to the same link where we can download. SSMS. See here now. Now what I need to do is I need to click on this download SQL Server Management Studio. And in the meanwhile, you can close this. I closed it. Are you sure you want to exit SQL Server Installer? Yes. Now, now I want to download and install this. Okay, now let me click on this. Now the file size is almost 800 MB. I'll let me click on save. I'll save it. I will save it to my um, downloads. Let me click on save. 
So depending on your internet speed, it'll take approximately um, 10 minutes or depending on the speed of the internet. So once it's downloaded, I'll show you. You can see here, download is almost 85% done. Okay, now you can see the download is almost done. And you can see here, so SSMS uh, finished downloading. Let me click on open folder. And now right click on this, run as administrator. So now we'll install this. So already we installed SQL Server Database Engine and the second part that we are installing now is SQL Server Management Studio. Right click on this, run as administrator and it will open a small pop-up window. Now do you want to make change for the computer? Click on yes and it will open a small pop-up. Yeah, now click on install. So this also will take around uh, 5 minutes to install. Now it's loading the packages, SQL Server Management Studio. So SQL Server Management Studio is the editor. It's used as the editor where you can type your queries and all. The actual database engine part we have installed already. So this is the second part that we need to install, right? Showing us uh, package progress and parallel it'll show overall progress of the installation. And uh, ideally it should be done in five minutes. Now you can see here that the setup completed successfully. Now with this, what we'll do is, let's try to log into SQL Server. So I'll show you how to connect to SQL Server. Click on Start and type SQL Server Management Studio. So you can see here, Desktop App, click on this. Now that will open SQL Server Management Studio. And for the first time, it'll take a while. So it's taking some time. Here, SQL Server Management Studio is loading user settings. This may take a few minutes. So it'll take around two to three minutes. Now you can see here, it's showing a uh, laptop BCHG 005S. Okay, so it's a laptop name it's showing. Now what we'll do is, now uh, in case if you're seeing this blank, let's take you're seeing this blank. So all you can do is click on this, Browse for more and you can select database engine and you can select this. Now click OK. Okay, now uh, click on connect. So it will take you to SQL Server. It will connect you to SQL Server. In case if you, it's giving any error for you, so verify that. So click on start and type here services.msc and open the services running in your computer. And you can scroll down a little bit and you can see that there'll be a service called SQL Server. So if it is disabled, so you need to start it. So so if it's disabled like this, let's take it showing like this disabled. So first what you have to do is this one. If this one is disabled, right click on this, properties, and then click on this automatic and click OK, apply and OK. And then you can right click on this, you can click on start. So this service should be running if you want to connect to SQL Server. SQL Server, MS SQL Server service should be running if you want to connect to SQL Server. So now we are able to connect to SQL Server. So here you can click on new query and you're all set. You can type your queries and you can work with SQL Server, okay? So I hope you are able to install SQL Server Database Engine and SQL Server Management Studio with this video. Thanks for watching and do subscribe for more videos. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.